Let me share a story with you. There was this rabbi who was teaching about the exodus from Egypt. He was teaching his students, his class, how God brought the 10 plagues on the, on the people of Egypt. And the first of the 10 plagues was that the Nile River turned into blood. And he was describing how this gigantic river turned into blood, a miracle. And there was a college student in the back of the classroom and he raised his hand and he asked a question. Very simple question. Rabbi, do you believe that? Do you believe that the water turned into blood? And the room was silent. And the rabbi responded with a question. He said, listen, I want you to imagine if there were two glasses on the table in front of me, one filled with orange juice and the second filled with water. And a miracle worker would come along and snap his fingers and turn both of the glasses the contents of both glasses into blood. Which of these two would you consider a bigger miracle, a greater miracle? And the student said, it's simple. The orange juice turning into blood is a greater miracle than water turning into blood. Because after all, blood is water with some other substances in it. But orange juice is a completely different substance. It has nothing to do with blood. And the rabbi told the student, well, do you know that orange juice turns into blood every day? And the student said, what are you talking about? And the rabbi said, very simple. When you drink orange juice, what happens? And the student said, hey, you know, you're right. It turns into blood. Now the rabbi said, I have a question for you. How does orange juice turn into blood? How does it happen? And at this point, the young man was thinking, scratching his head, and he said, I think, I think it's the liver. I think it's the liver that turns the orange juice into blood. And the rabbi said, you're right. I could tell that you listened to your biology class. But I have one more question for you. Can you please tell me how it is that the liver turns the orange juice into blood? And the student was thinking. And he said, you know, rabbi, I'll tell you the truth. I don't know how the liver turns the orange juice into blood. So the rabbi said, please don't feel bad that you do not know. Because all of the combined wisdom of science, modern science, still does not know exactly how the liver turns orange juice into blood. But you can be sure that whoever knows how to turn orange juice into blood knows how to turn water into blood.